One thing that native apps know how to do very well, but that progressive web apps don't currently, is handling URLs. Let's imagine the case where a friend of yours sent you a Spotify URL to a song or an artist that they want you to discover. Clicking on that URL, if you've got Spotify installed locally, will likely launch the app immediately instead of going to the website. Progressive web apps, unfortunately, don't really know how to do this yet. Well, today we're going to talk about a new feature that changes that, and it's called URL handling. So let's take a look. I have an installed PWA here. Um, it is a website that I own, and I've made it so that it, it, it can be installed on Windows here. Uh, I've added a manifest and a service worker, and it's on HTTPS, so it meets all of the installability requirements. So I've installed it locally. Now, I have also received an email with the link to the website, right? It is devtoolstips.org. So let's see what happens when I click on that link. My default browser, in that case, Microsoft Edge, starts and shows me the content, which is okay. But in that case, I really wanted the app to launch instead. So let's learn about how to do this. All right, let me get rid of all of this and open my code editor. This is the source code for my app. And there is one thing that is very important in any PWA, and that's the manifest file. Manifest.json in that case, it's the web manifest that describes the application and what the operating system should do with it whenever it gets installed. Um, one thing you need to add for URL handling to work is a new field in that manifest JSON structure called URL handlers. It's an array. You can handle multiple types of URLs, but in my case, there's only one that I want, which is devtoolstips.org. Um, and that's really all you need to start with. You may have different types of origin that you want to handle, or maybe even other websites. You don't have to handle only your own uh, URLs. Now, when the operating system receives the information to open a URL, um, to choose what to do, it needs to know that your application has been registered as a handler, which is done here. But it also needs to check that your app is actually entitled to open this link, right? Uh, in, in, a, in a way, you need to prove that your app owns those URLs. And you do this by using another JSON file. This file needs to be available at the root uh, of the website, which URLs you're trying to handle. So at the root of your website, you need to have a dot well-known directory that contains a single JSON file called Web App Origin Association, which describes the list of PWAs that can be handled. In my case, that's the DevTools tips.org manifest JSON is here and uh, it is saying that any path can be handled and no path needs to be excluded. Now that we're set up, um, I've already deployed all of this code on my server and on the app. I've done change here. So we can go ahead and test. I will go back and I'll actually remove the app entirely and reinstall it from the website directly. So let me click that install button in Edge. And now I'm getting the app installed again. So I can close all of this stuff and go back to my email client. And there we go. Now, whenever I click on that link, uh, Windows is telling me that I've got two choices. I can either use the default browser, which is normally what used to happen so far, or the new newly installed web app. In that case, that's what I'm gonna choose. You can check the remember my choice uh, box as well if you don't want that dialog to open every time. And then your app opens at the right URL. So now your app is, you know, knows how to natively handle those URL, which is really cool. One last note, this feature is experimental. If you want to try it, you're going to have to go to the Edge Flags web page and then type URL handling in the text box here until you find the desktop PWA URL handling uh, feature and you want to, you know, make sure that it's enabled here. If you do want to use this in production and you don't want to have to ask your users to do this, you can sign up for an origin trial. Uh, Microsoft Edge has the web app URL handlers feature on origin trials right now. So you can enroll your site 
and Edge is going to enable that feature for your customers directly. And that's it. Um, I hope this was useful and that you're going to try and use this feature soon in your PWAs. Thanks.